Hi, it's Peter Sun, the Real Estate Renegade, and for 40 years I've bought, I've sold, I've renovated, and I've subdivided. I've made money and I've lost money. And now I'm helping everyday Australians with all sorts of real estate problems. From the latest market updates, closing major deals, discovering and showing you real estate opportunities and boom suburbs you may want to look at. We're going to meet real people, experienced real estate experts and talk about hard-hitting real estate issues affecting Australians right now. Join me and dive deep into uncovering hot deals and opportunities in a country considered and possessing some of the most expensive real estate in the world. I'm Peter Sun, the Real Estate Renegade, exposing the truth about real estate. Hey guys, Peter Sun with another video. Now, uh, what I want to talk about today is, you know, how to sell your house and, and how to present your house for sale and how to sell it for more money. And now, the last two properties I've sold, I wrote my own ad for the house. And it's a different ad to what the agents would normally write. So basically for this house, I basically described this house as a cross between Miami Vice and Hollywood by the beach. So now what I've done is I've also furnished the house completely differently to what it was like before. So instead of having like brown furniture, I've now made it all kind of white. As you can see here, we've got the white, you know, leather bar stools. We've got the white lunch over here with the zebra, you know, with the zebra rug on the floor and, and glass and, and chrome, you know, grass and chrome tables. And, and of course, same thing with the dining table. We've done, you know, we're going for that white, sleek Miami Vice and Hollywood by the beach look. Now, some of the furniture here, as you can see, this is actually gonna go out by the pool and outside, but we're not putting it outside until we're ready to display the house or we have an open for inspection because we don't want this to get ruined in the, you know, in the rain and in obviously the, you know, the suit and whatever the grime can make it a little bit, you know, look second hand. So we're keeping this, you know, uh, we're keeping this in the, you know, in the house until we're ready to uh, do it. Now we're spending a little bit of money on the house and we, we went around and we bought most of these things on sale. So we've gone to uh, various furniture places looking what's on sale what will fit in with the, you know, with the view of the house. Now, so the other thing that I've done is I've decluttered the house. So I've actually emptied out all the cupboards, all the wardrobes are empty. I'm basically living out of my suitcase because I want people to be able to come here and imagine themselves living in the property like a brand new display apartment that you would see in a block of units or a brand new penthouse that's up for sale. So you don't want to leave personal things. I had personal uh, photos and, and, and prints on the walls. I've taken all that down and I've made it so it can appeal to anybody basically that comes here. One of the biggest features here is we have is an elevator. So uh, one of the things in the headline is I'm saying, you know, uh, you know live by the beach in a four-story uh, condo or villa with its own private elevator. And it is a, a big selling point because four stories, that's a lot of stairs and it is a commercial size elevator. So come for a ride with me and I'll show you some of the bedrooms upstairs. Okay, let's have a look at some of the bedrooms and I'll show you what, you know, what we've done here. This is like a, uh, a very small bedroom. Uh, it's like it could be a, a TV room but, or, or a fourth or fifth bedroom. So again, we've showed people that you can have it as a bedroom and you can see every, all the beds are made up and it's looking you know, like a display home so that everything is uh, absolutely spotless. So let's have a look at another, another bedroom over here. Again here, this is what we call the pink bedroom. So the theme here is pink. So we've got the, the pink you know, painting, the pink covers. We've put new curtains up, new blinds. Everything has basically been redone here. The carpets, repainting, and if you look over here in the bathroom, so again, the pink theme carries through the bathroom with the matching tiles and basically making the bathroom absolutely spotless. Now if we go to this bedroom over here, then this is the black room. So in this bedroom here, we've used the black and white theme. And again, that's to do with the Hollywood, you know, a little bit of the Hollywood theme. And we've got two rooms like this in the house. So there's another room downstairs, which has got the Hollywood theme as well. And you can see black and white print on the wall. And, and all these bedrooms, of course, have been totally decluttered. So there's nothing here except the bed to give the impression of space. And of course, they are big bedrooms. I mean, this is a, a queen size bed and there's still room here you could have a desk you could have a lounge chair here so all the bedrooms in this house are, are very very big hope you guys enjoyed this episode and don't forget to tune in often for the latest property news investment strategies and much much more 
and also speak to your business owner to see how you can get involved with us today. This is Peter Sun, the Real Estate Renegade, and I'll see you next time.